Today we'll be taking a closer look at the Lian Li Land Cool 216 case. And we'll be doing this by doing a review and build inside of it. And we'll start out with an unboxing of the case here. There isn't any specifications on the outside of the box here for the case. It is, as I mentioned, an airflow focused case. And some of the features that are brought out of this case on Lian Li's website is that there's a continuous front top mesh as you see here on the case it goes from the front all the way over to the top of the case and also on the PSU shroud side there's some mesh there as well for additional intake it's included in this case is two 160 millimeter front fans so that's a, a little different size fans than normal. And then it has a 140 millimeter rear fan included as well. I believe just the 160 millimeter fans are ARGB. This is the ARGB version of the case. And it says that it has two channels of LEDs that can be controlled separately by an optional accessory or via the motherboard lighting software by connecting them directly to a motherboard five volt three pin header. Also on this case, another feature is that this IO on the front can be relocated. It includes the power button, reset button, audio port, two USB three ports, and a USB type C port. And this can be moved to the side bottom of the front panel. So that's what I'm probably gonna be doing for my build. This is going to be a personal build for me. And it says it's latest gen GPU ready. It can fit graphics card up to 392 millimeters in length and 180 millimeters in height. And so let's take a closer look by opening this box up then. that you can mount a fan to the back of the graphics card I.O. These are the screws and other accessories. And some sort of a plate. Top panel, it's got a couple of thumb screws. The 
screw down here for the mesh panel on the bottom on the side. Tempered glass panel there. And then the two on six two on sixty millimeter fans with the mesh front. We'll take a look how it is to build in this. We'll take a first look at what our parts are for this build. To start with, the processor I'll be using in today's build is going to be an Intel Core i7 13700K. And I'll be trying to overclock it a bit, so to lower the temps a little bit, I'll be trying to use this CPU bending corrector frame. It's a contact frame that will replace the stock ILM in the motherboard. To cool a processor, I'll be using an MSI Meg Core Liquid S360 all-in-one cooler. It's got a display on the pump cap there. For the motherboard, I'll be using an MSI Meg Z690 Ace, and it's an EATX motherboard, and this case does support EATX motherboards. It's got a plate that can switch around to change where the pass-throughs are uh, by the motherboard tray, so it should work with that. For memory, I'll be using the G-Skill Trident Z5 RGB kit. It's two by 16 gigabytes of 6,000 megatransfers per second. For storage, I have a Western Digital Black one terabyte Gen 4x4. It's a SN850X. Will be the main system drive. I also have two two terabyte Solidine P41 PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSDs for additional storage. And for graphics card, I have an MSI Gaming X Trio GeForce RTX 4090. And the only reason I was able to get that is by bundling it with a motherboard all-in-one. And also my power supply, which is an MSI MEG A1000G PCIe 5 1000 watt power supply. It's ATX 3.0 compatible and is ready for PCIe 5.0 devices. So. It's got the right connector that the 4090 will need right away. And let's get building.
This time we'll go over my review of the Lian Lee Landcool 216 case by covering the pros and cons of the case. To start with the pros are that the case is an excellent value. The case included two 160mm ARGB fans and one 140mm fan along with an RGB and fan controller. And this case was purchased for $110 which I consider to be an excellent value for what's included in that price. Another pro of this case is that it has excellent airflow and thermals in its stock configuration. And it also has the flexibility to put in additional fans to increase this according to your build needs. And this case is able to accommodate higher end parts pretty easily. The another pro that this case has is that it has an excellent build quality. It's very sturdy and there's an excellent fit for all the panels. Everything seems to be of high quality material. And another pro is that it's aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. It's able to look good whether you're putting in lower end parts or higher end parts. So it can suit your needs for many different builds and still look good doing it. And for some of the cons of this case, there were only a few that I found one is that it's very difficult to relocate the front panel I.O. from the top to the side of the case. It felt like the front fans were blocking the connectors coming out of the I.O. panel and almost had to force it to get it to fit. And luckily all the I.O. still worked after installing it. And another con of the case is that it's likely very susceptible to dust buildup in the case because of a lack of the dust filters and front intake, the front air intake. Putting case on the desk should be uh, help to alleviate that issue. And I believe there's also an optional dust filter that you can purchase for the case, which I have been unable to find in stock. And uh, one other con of this case is that the rear panel fan for 140 millimeter fan does not accept the Lian Li Uni Fans SL140 V2s. Um, it does have the stock 140 millimeter fan, which fits, but if you try to replace that with the uh, Lian Li Uni Fan SL140 V2s, it just doesn't fit in the case. So it's a little disappointing that um, that doesn't work and there's no mention of it not being able to work. Other than that, uh, those are only the, those are the main cons that I had to the case. And as to whether I would recommend the case, I would definitely recommend it as long as you're able to um, overcome any of the cons that I mentioned. It should be pretty easy. So it's a pretty easy recommendation for me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, consider subscribing and liking the video. And I'll see you next time.